Autobots transform. What is up Master Universe fans? Thank you for joining me for this review and giving me a few minutes of your time. Today we're going to be taking a look at Master of the Universe Classics Dialamug by Super 7. I did not purchase this from Super 7. And this is his package. It says 10th anniversary uh, from 2008-2018 on the back. Uh, a little bit more writing down there. And that's it. This is the the mailer. The inside is Dialamug. I did not order this from Super 7, even though I ordered the entire Filmation Wave from Super 7. But uh, Dialamug is the only guy that I wanted from this wave of Classics figures. And I'm going to turn it over and get to that in a second. Here is Dialamug in his packaging. As you can see, he's a very unique figure, which is why I have him in my hand. Uh, Master of the Universe Classic here, the, the same brick style packaging that we've seen since 2008 from the Classics line. The Collector, Dialamug, Evil Robot with Endless Expressions figure. And again, the um, 10th anniversary right there logo, pretty cool. Bottom of the packaging, Super 7 slapped under their side. And the reverse of the packaging. Again, um, I had a chance to order this figure from Super 7 when it first came out but you have to buy the entire wave you can't pick who you want it and I purchased if you see my reviews I purchased this entire wave and I reviewed this entire wave but out of these four figures I only wanted one so I was not going to be stuck with three figures I didn't want I have the burden to try to resell these guys not that they're not resellable or there's anything wrong with them they, they just didn't resonate with me and I'm not the type of guy I'm a completist to a point and if the guy, if the figures don't have any connection to me, I, I'm not gonna chase these guys. I'm gonna gonna put uh, what a thirty-five dollars a piece, like uh, one forty, one fifty on a wave. I only wanted one guy, so I um I pre-ordered off BigBadToyStore.com and just just got the one figure because I really didn't want to be bothered. But anyway, here he is on the back of the packaging. Uh, some little artwork for him, and it's very nice, very nice. I like it. With the horde logo on his skull you can see the bulbs on his head uh, and here is his bio down here he has a complete bio hope I got that focused in where you can read it you can pause and read that and I am going to move on and I am going to get this guy open and again he's one of the guys he really didn't resonate with me but there you know there's an exception to every rule this is one of those figures where there isn't a figure like him out there. There isn't another uh, a character, I should say. Not figure, another character. He's very unique. In any toy line I collect, whether it's DC Universe, like, you got to get the Penguin and Mitzel Plick because those are guys, they're not going to use that body again. And it's going to make that figure um, a little bit special, even if it doesn't become collector value rare, but it's more special. Like, where can they use this body again? So let me get this guy out while I'm running my mouth. And if you don't know, if you haven't seen my reviews, because I've gotten a lot of complaints in the comments, I unbox. I open up, I, I untwist tie. This is what my review is. And if you don't know, you might want to fast forward. You might not want to watch. But a lot of people complain at my style. I unpackage as if um, you were just getting a toy if you don't have it. Or maybe you can reminisce on when you first got it. He's packaged with a couple different, uh, I guess you would call them accessories, an ultimate horde logo. And... A blast effect some of this junk out of the way and uh, of course I, n I don't have practice time with my toys you're watching everything I've done with it, everything I know so there are things I miss and a lot of people a lot of people get angry like dude you missed this you didn't do that you didn't it, dude, I just opened it up and that I, to me that's the charm of my uh, reviews like we are both experiencing for the first time but if you have it and you play with it you're going to know a lot of things that I don't know and some of the things in my review might make you angry. But anyway, here is out of the packaging. He he looks heavier than what he is. He's sort of kind of hollowed out, but he has a little weight to him. I'm going to bring him closer to take a look. His little faces are off center. I'm going to dial this back because you can dial his mug. Take a look at his Horde logo on his helmet. It looks very cartoon. And a lot of people say this guy should have been in the filmation wave. And you can make the argument about any figure that they made in a classic line that never had a vintage figure because it's made after the cartoon. But I, I have to agree. 
And this guy is it's like filmation all the way. But anyway, taking a look at him, turning him around, trying to check out his paint. Little bulbs on top of his head. They're done, like they're like fuses. And they're done pretty well. It's pretty sweet. He has a lot of them. What does he have? 8, 9, 10, 11 fuses on top of his head. He has like a little panel here. I don't know what that was for. I don't know if they were going to make more to it or is it just a little square. And he has the wires running throughout his body, coming down to his feet. He has some printing under his feet. Super 7 made in China, Mattel Inc. Has Mattel on there as well. His faces are trying to dial a little bit as I turn it. Okay, on to the figure itself uh, and its articulation. He has arm joints up here over his head. And the movement is restricted some because of the wires here. And wow, I hope they don't break over time. But they seem, they seem pretty squishy. Where you can get it up and kind of... And that one's kind of bunched up. Yeah, but um, I have a lot of fear of this coming out of there and not being able to put it back over time. But I'm not going to, like, straight up play with it. After this, he's probably going to go on the shelf. I might be able to have him choke a couple of Rebel members. But that's about it. i seen him, I know, on one episode where he was in a bar with two Horde troopers having a drink and how robots are in a bar having a drink. I don't know. But he was in a bar having a drink, harassing um, the villagers or whatever. And so, anyway, back to his arm articulation. This joint goes up and down like that. He bends at the elbow. It can come back this far. And it comes up this far. He get it up pretty high. And at his wrist, there is no articulation or rotation, which kind of sucks. I heard people complaining about that. And maybe these claws could have closed in and out so he can hold somebody or choke somebody. But that's the end of that. Um, far as a waist, it's like they could. Oh, yeah, it is. So I had to break it. He has a full 360 in waist underneath. First, I was kind of scared to push on it and would have missed it. Uh, his leg comes up this far. You can get that up pretty high. And back just as far. Coming to his knee. Well, he has a thigh swivel. But I can't believe it feels like, okay. It's just it's real stiff. He has a slight knee bend it's like they could have worked a little bit more into that and down to his ankle the ankle rocks a lot well it goes front to back a lot and it rocks it rocks pretty well and it's hidden too you can't even tell like that big joint in there that ball joint is the rocker which is pretty well hidden that's pretty cool all right and coming to the dial a mug feature which you can like change his face. And I've never seen this on a cartoon or never paid attention to it when he did it. You can change his eyes. He has one, two, three eyes. And I don't know if his nose actually moves, but his face. You can mix and, miss and match these uh, expressions. And he can look sad or, or shocked or bewildered or happy. Or sinisterly happy. Oh, you get it. You can position his mug to a lot of things. I can't believe his nose. The centerpiece doesn't move. I guess the, uh, these parts are plugged into that piece. Allowing you to dial a mug. They dial pretty freely in there. So yeah. That's his dial a mug gimmick. And again, this is one of those figures. I if you're collecting these, you got to get this guy. If you, you were like me, didn't want that whole wave. You got to kind of go out to this guy in the second market because where else are they going to use this body? They are not going to use it again. And I figured it would be made well because they're not going to use it again. They don't want to take the chance of um, no one liking it and uh, not selling a, a completely retooled toy to their line. I can't see anybody. All, all he may be bad to get is a reissue or a repaint out of this guy because no one else in Master of the Universe looks like this. Unless they, the Four Horsemen creates their own character. I mean, I can see that happening. They will do that. Okay, I'm going to move on to some of his accessories, which he has the alternate Horde logo. You can take him. You can take this little cartoon logo. You can remove this at the head. It just, it just sits in there. Plugs in there off a little bit of friction, but it's in there pretty well. Just pops right out of there. You can see the plug is not deep. And you could take the, the toy horde logo, 
and plug it in there and he looks more like not now he's classics with the uh hordak head from the classics line get him on there and i'm going to get him out here with a couple more classics figures horde wraith and a horde trooper And now he fits, either way he fits in with your classics line or your uh, filmation line. But uh, this is like what I just do for review sake and try to build the drama of this. But he fits in either way. It, does, it doesn't matter. He fits in either way. So that's that. And then you can remove it yet again. And you can get the... The blast from the cartoon. This is the blast. It has a little yellow here and a little yellow on the tip. So you know it's firing. But they should have went the extra mile. They should have made this whole piece translucent and painted this part red. I think, in my opinion. A little blast. Let's see if we get him angry. And he's blasting rebels. And I, I've seen him do this on the cartoon. Which is pretty cool. They just it could have been a little bit better. It could have went the extra mile. They could have even did the translucent um clear and hit it with a little bit of red, giving it that um translucent red look. But that's pretty cool that he actually does that. Because they could have left that out. And I'm gonna go back to his filmation looking headpiece here. So I think he's done pretty well. He looks great for what he is. And then they use all plastic. He doesn't have that paint over that the classics, I mean, that the filmation guys have. Um, no real complaints about this figure. I just wish the hands could open and close and maybe he had wrist articulation. That's the only thing I think could have been done better. But every toy I have, I can tell you what could have been done better. My joints are good. The face is a little loose. Just a little bit. You can shake it and turn the expressions. I think that could have been done a little bit better, but he looks great. And again, he, he's a must have just off of what he is. You know, you're not going to get a remake of this figure. See if I get him posed out just a little bit. And the stand up. Are you going to stand up for us? I was just telling everybody that you were made well. Yeah, he can stand up in a little bit of a pose because of um, the way he's designed. It's not that much articulation there, even though he has the articulation joints and cuts, but he just won't move to all the places that you want but he's a pretty cool figure and if you have any doubts about it i can tell you um i like it in hand it's pretty cool it looks like this thing pops out if you see it right around here it looks like it does i don't want to break it but i got mine off a of big bag because i refused to order that whole wave i did not want grana uh car and, and definitely didn't want uh rap trap I, I, i'm not one of those guys that Oh, he was a concept figure, and uh, uh, they finally made him, and the Four Horsemen, and Super Sevens bringing it. You know, I'm good with just this guy. This has been George, 80s Transformer fan, reviewing Master of the Universe, and saying I'll see you soon.